This tutorial is mainly for the benefit of our American friends who need to convert our metric drawings into imperial units. The first very important thing to note is how model space is used for decimal drawing and metric drawing. Model space is virtually a grid. It's like a giant piece of graph paper divided into units. And for metric users, we're able to decide what each square of that grid is worth. So you can see on screen here that I have some different examples of the same car, but drawn at different scales. The large one at the top here has been drawn at millimeters. So we assume that one AutoCAD unit equals one millimeter for that. Now drawing in millimeters is the usual convention for most metric countries, including the UK. If you are in Western Europe, Germany, France, Spain, etc., then it's more than likely that you will be drawing in centimeters, in which case you assume that one AutoCAD unit equals one centimeter. And you can see there that the car ends up one-tenth the size. There's also a convention of drawing in meters. You can see the little car here, really small, which has been drawn in meters. And that's usually a convention used by land surveyors. So to start with, we've already got a problem in that in receiving a metric drawing, it could come in any one of those sizes. Now in between all of these, you'll see I've also drawn a car here in feet and inches. And that is exactly 25.4 times smaller than this large one here. And the reason we get to that scale is because one inch is exactly 25.4 millimeters long. If I measure something like the wheelbase of this car, you'll see I'm given a figure of 2,590 millimeters. If I measure the car in centimeters, it gives me 259. If I measure it in meters, it gives me 2.59 meters. Now if I measure the car that's been drawn in Imperial, I'm going to type in units first of all and just change the drawing units from decimal to architectural which is an imperial measurement I'll click OK and let's give a measure across that and it's giving me 8 foot 5 and 15 sixteenths which is the correct length for that car so the reason you're here is probably because you're wanting to find out how to convert these metric drawings to Imperial and this is how we do it. Start off with this one here, the car that's been drawn in millimeters, probably the most likely format that you'll receive a metric drawing in. This is going to be 25.4 times too big for you. I'm going to use AutoCAD's calculator here You can see I've been doing this. I'm just going to clear out the history. Do it again. I'm going to take 1, divide that by 25.4, and enter. And it gives me this factor here. I'm going to copy that, because that's the factor by which we're going to scale the card down by. I'll type SC for scale, and enter. Select the object and enter, choose a base point. And for my scale factor down here, paste it in and enter. And you can see now that my car is reduced down to the correct size for imperial use. So that's the process you run through for converting decimal drawings into imperial. 